everyone so today I wanted to do my January favorites I know it's super late but I'm getting around to it I have a lot to say so let's just get started all right so starting with hair I have the TG serious conditioner with sunflower seed oil I love this stuff my hair has been super dry as you have seen in my other videos I've mentioned that I have done highlights many times throughout the year and this is some serious conditioner uh, the name is nothing compared to what it does, seriously. Uh, it really, really does get rid of those dry ends, especially. And I just, I kind of like to put it along my ends more than m my roots because I'm afraid that it's going to make my roots a little oily. Anyway, I really love this stuff. Uh, I use it right after I shampoo, which I also shampoo with TG S Factor. Um, I really, really recommend this stuff if you have dry hair, if you have colored hair because it really protects your hair from the damage that coloring can cause and especially during this time of year the winter time it's absolutely awesome now going along with that the TGS factor smoothing lusterizer um, I love this stuff because it has like little sparkles in it like when you if you put it in your hands and you rub them together before you put them on your hair after you're done with that like you'll have like little sparkles all over your hand I mean that's not the reason I love it that's not the only reason I love it. It also helps with the dryness of your hair. It really, really helps your hair shine. Um, I put this on wet hair right after I shower, but you can also use it with dry hair, I believe. Yeah, you can. Using wet or, or dry hair, satisfaction guaranteed. And seriously, like this stuff is awesome. And these two together are like... One more thing for hair is the She Moisture Deep Treatment mask with she with sea kelp and argan oil i mentioned this in my winter must-haves uh, i absolutely love this stuff i recommend using it every single time you wash your hair i use it and leave it on for five minutes and then every other week i kind of use this blow dry thing that i mentioned in my last video for some extra conditioning it really really helps with the split ends and the dryness of your hair during this time of year i've been loving this throughout january since i discovered it and I absolutely recommend it. Now for skincare, I've really been loving the Naobe Natural and Organic Oxygenating Cream Moisturizing. I use this kind of as a primer before I wear my makeup. I don't use it as a moisturizer tech, like really. I really like my moisturizer so I don't feel the need to use it as a moisturizer. But I do feel the need to use it on top of my moisturizer before I put on my makeup. I use it like a primer. And I really, really recommend it. It it keeps my makeup on the whole day. Like, that's why I feel like it acts like a primer. It keeps my makeup on the whole day, number one. And it keeps my makeup looking smooth and fresh. And it makes the makeup go on nice and smooth. So, I really, really recommend that. This actually came in my December glossy box, I believe. Um, but I plan on purchasing a big, big version of this because I really like it that much. Going along with skincare, I really have been loving my Origins face wash. This is a Perfect World antioxidant and it has white tea. Um, this is meant for dry skin, which I have, lots of dry skin. And it's foaming and I really, really like the way it makes my skin feel after I wash it. When I rinse it off, my skin is so smooth. And this is exactly what I look for in a cleanser. So I really, really recommend that. If you have dry skin, you should definitely be using this one. More skincare in terms of primers uh, benefits the professional. I know that everyone has been raving about this forever, but I just bought mine in January, early January, and I've seriously been loving this stuff so much. I use it every single day, and it really does minimize your pores. I have huge pores. It's ridiculous. But I have also discovered the other day that you're supposed to rinse off your cleanser with cold water because that closes your pores and I haven't really been doing that my whole life so I should probably start. Yeah, I have started and that along with this has seriously closed up my pores a whole lot. It's in the packaging because I am waiting to film a haul for you and this was part of the haul. Uh, so that's why the packaging is still in it, but I seriously do use this every day. So my birthday was last month. So naturally, I went to Sephora and I got my little birthday gift that they give you every year. And this was it. It's real birthday turn-ons. And from this, I've been loving both those things, but 
I'm including the Benefits Their Real Mascara in my January favorites because I honestly cannot live without this mascara anymore. I had to go buy myself a big one, which is also going in the haul. That's why it's in the packaging. Uh, I love the wet up, don't get me wrong. I really, really do. Um, but this is what's included in my, in my January favorites. Now this is some serious, sleek, awesome mascara. The brush is absolutely unique. Like it has these little fleckles on the top. I'm sure most of you have seen this anyway. But it's seriously what makes my lashes super long and voluminous. Not that I have an issue with that anyway. I've always had naturally long lashes, but this just adds to it and I use it under my favorite mascara, which is the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. Um, to add some, I don't know, color and definition. That has been in my everyday makeup routine for all of January and it's still going through February. And I can honestly not recommend this mascara enough. It's a little pricey, but it's honestly worth it. Super worth it. Now for my birthday, I treated myself to my very first Chanel lipstick. This is the Rouge Allure Velvet in number 37, L'Exuberant. Um, and this is the color. I absolutely, I love the packaging. It's so cute. You just push it and it comes up and it's a bright pink, which I really wanted for my birthday. I didn't end up wearing it for my birthday, but I have worn it since. I absolutely love this color. I love the, the packaging. I love the way it feels on my lips. It's not matte, but it's like silky and you can, you can see the shine, but at the same time you can see the matteness. I Wish I could explain that a little better, and I will try to get my lipstick lingo better for next time. And everything about it is awesome. Now, keeping going with lipsticks, I also bought myself the Girl About Town by MAC, and I'm sure a lot of you know what this one looks like, but it's another bright pink, and this is what it looks like. It's a different bright pink than the Chanel one, and this is the one I ended up wearing on my birthday because I bought... It, I bought the lip gloss that goes with it, and I thought it looked really nice. It added some shine, and the nail liquor. Um, and I wore them all together on my birthday, and I wanted it to match, and that's why I wore it. So those have been... I have been loving these so much throughout all of January because of that. Another lipstick I've been loving is Max Rebel. I didn't like this one too much for Christmas, but I do love it as a winter color. So I've been wearing a, little, a lot throughout January. Now the color is scary when you first see it, it's like this purple, but it doesn't come out so purple on your lips. It comes out like red, like a reddish plum color. And I really, really like it. Super moisturizing and the color uh, is just a bonus. I just love it. Now something I've honestly been repurchasing for like a year now, the Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and I repurchased it in January and I decided to include it in my January favorites because it's never been another one of my favorites videos yet and I love the the point. It is perfect for the little cat eye flick that we love to do and it really does stay on all day and I usually hate buying waterproof mascara or eyeliner because it's so hard to come off to take off with makeup remover this one is not it actually comes off really easily and it, it goes on really nicely it stays on all day yet it comes off easily it's just the best seriously the best eyeliner I've ever owned love this love this eyeliner so much keep repurchasing it and decided to include it in my January favorites because I love it that much now the last thing for my makeup is the Naked 3 palette, which I'm sure you all have been loving as much as I have. But I happened to have bought it for my birthday because uh, it was my birthday and I was like, let me get myself something nice and this was it. And of course you know all the colors that are in here, but I'm gonna show you anyway. This has honestly been in my everyday makeup routine since I bought it in mid-January. And I love the colors. I think that the neutral pink look is really, really nice all throughout the year. Like, I just love these colors so much. I've been wearing them all throughout January. It's my everyday look, pretty much. And I just love it a lot. Now, for body stuff, I actually went through my perfumes and realized that I had this Aqualina Pink Sugar 
perfumes. This is the hair perfume, this is the body spray, and I realized that I didn't like this at first because it was so strong, so I didn't wear it. I haven't worn it in years, but I've owned it for years, and I was like, let me try it again, so I did, and it smells so good. Like, at first, yeah, you smell it, you smell it a lot. When it sets, settles in with your body chemicals and other body odors, it like settles in very nicely. Like it's not too strong. And I've gotten tons of compliments since I've been wearing it and I've been wearing it throughout all of January and I absolutely love these and I think you should buy them. More body stuff, I've really been loving Lush's Lemon Lemony Flutter. Now I bought this in like November or something. But I decided to include it in this in this favorites video because I've really been using it throughout all of January. It's not just cuticle butter, it really just eliminates the dry spots everywhere. And since uh, January is really, really wintry, not really where I live, but it's really wintry, um, I have decided to include this in my favorites. It smells a little, yeah, yeah like really strong lemony, but I really, really like this stuff. I think that it it really takes away the dry spots and it's essential especially this time of year i'm probably gonna be using this for the rest of the year though because like i can't get enough of it i just can't another thing from lush has been this i believe it's called the havarti massage bar i kind of just rub it on my legs after i shave and it makes them really nice and smooth and they sm it smells amazing amazing and it just makes it really smooth and shiny keeps it soft for a couple days and i just kind of use this like every night before i go to bed especially after i shave and it makes it really really nice it smells amazing now in terms of smells i really have been loving bath and body works winter i know this is like something everyone uses this time of year but seriously this candle smells so good it's not so strong i love candles i love candles i include one in every single favorites video i think so far and i will continue to do so because i just love candles so much but this one like i'm gonna like i wish i could buy this throughout the rest of the year because like i just love the smell though it wouldn't be as special when winter actually did come around so maybe not if you could pick one scent in the world to describe winter this is it it smells like like wood burning and awesomeness and pine pine that's what it is pine and wood burning and like everything that's awesome about winter all in one candle so you should definitely smell this if you can tv i really have been loving pretty little liars and ravenswood all of my shows have come back so I've been loving those, of course, and I really have um, gotten re into Beverly Hills 90210. I know that's a 90s show and not a lot of people know it. I actually didn't grow up with the show because it's a little before my time even, but I started watching it like four years ago and I got through like all 10 seasons in one summer and I was like, let me, st let me just rewatch it again to like remember what happens. And that's what I've been doing throughout all of January, really. Um, it's like one of my favorite shows. You should definitely check it out songs i have been loving every single album by mayday parade um if you don't know who they are you should definitely check them out they're a small scale band based out of tallahassee florida which i went to school there which is awesome but i love them so much their sound is like so alternative slash rock love them you should check them out if you don't know them already um they're my favorite band favorite bands. I've already seen them in concert a couple times. I'm going to see them again in the summer. Individual songs. I have seriously been loving Sail by AWOL Nation. Love that song. And I See Fire by Ed Sheeran. He recorded the song for the end of the new Lord of the Rings movie. And uh, it's a great song. Love that song. Love his sound. I'm wait I'm dying for a new Ed Sheeran album. You don't understand. And I'm dying to go see him in concert just by himself without Taylor Swift because he's the love of my life and we're gonna get married and have beautiful red-headed babies. And I've also been loving the 1975 album. My best friend got me tickets to see them. We're gonna go see them in March, I think, or May. Can't remember. But the whole 1975 album is awesome. And of course, Dark Horse by Katy Perry is really awesome too. And those are all the songs that are that I've been loving. And now it's giveaway time. Uh, one of you is going to win a new Naked 3 palette, which I will be purchasing with my own money. It's not going to be sponsored. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment with a few of your January favorites below. And I will check things out and I will pick a winner through a random generator. So again, all you have to do is 
subscribe, like, and comment with a few of your January favorites, and I will pick one and I will announce it in my February favorites video. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my January favorites, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!